Hello, my name is Chris and I will review the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 2018, a model that was updated this model year. This Jeep is one of the oldest vehicle designs ever. Jeep has carefully kept the design modern yet classic. Well done. Take a look at this high level 4K footage. On the inside, there is enough room as its rectangular shape would suggest. Rear passengers though do not have that much leg room, which surprised me. But really, the front space is where the real fun is and this $60,000 as tested Canadian model is just out of reach of most people in terms of price. I recommend one of the lower trim models. The Uconnect infotainment is easy to use and a Ross favorite. CarPlay and Auto included. The controls are well laid out. Of note, there is an available Alpine sound system for nostalgics and it is designed for top-down listening. The steering wheel is nice and the seats are very comfortable. There are six versions available with a host of options and so many exterior colors to choose from. It allows for customization. There is an engine choice also, a V6 or a four-cylinder turbo. We have the V6. Wrangler has a select on-demand four-wheel drive system to save gas, and the Rubicon models have a four-to-one low gear transfer case. The V6 is a sturdy powertrain and pulls its weight. The look and driving experience are the two main reasons why you buy Wrangler. And in these times of too many rules and hypersensitivity, something this outrageous and so cool to drive, it is more of a giant toy than everyday transportation. It feels great. The various engine and transmission combos range from 10.5 liters per 100 kilometers to 15 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and 9.4 liters per 100 kilometers and 11.7 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway. For those of you who love gasoline, here's how it drives on the road. Hello car lovers, driving today the 2018 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. It's a 2018, it's probably one of the last ones we're gonna do of the year. Uh, I have a viewer question, actually, I think I'm gonna start doing that now because I'm instead of answering them, I will answer them on the channel. Uh, people send me emails sometimes asking what to buy. And Siva from Seattle uh, is upgrading from a Toyota RAV4 to either a Volvo XC60, GLC 300 from Mercedes and a Range Rover Velar. I spoke about it briefly to Ross. His first choice, according to your conditions in your email, would be the GLC 300, uh, simply because it's probably much, it, it, not much more, but more reliable, more luxury, more prestige, more awesome. The Velar, he says, forget about it. And the other choice would be the XC60. If you do want reliability and comfort, Ross does suggest the RX 350. He's more of the SUV specialist than me, but I agree with Ross with the bit I know. So getting to the review of this vehicle. Okay, what is this vehicle? Have you ever been in an all-terrain vehicle? I owned one and this is what this vehicle reminds me the most of in terms of the driving experience. You feel you can go anywhere. Uh, you'll never get stuck. If ever there's a snowstorm and you have good tires or any condition really, uh, this vehicle will get you through before a lot of others on the road, including some emergency vehicles. So that's my overall impression when driving this car. If you have ever uh, thought about what this vehicle could drive like, I think this vehicle is one of those vehicles that will drive exactly like your preconceived uh, notions about this car. That is to say, on the highway, a bit of wind noise because of the shape. Uh, there's a bit of rattles a little bit everywhere. It's kind of rough, though not unrefined, it sh I should say. And it drinks a lot of gas. I mean, what else is there to say about this vehicle? Uh, I love this steering wheel. Uh, Ross re remarks that he loves the Uconnect and there is decent storage. Uh, you can take off this roof if you want and drive in the sun and it creates a wonderful driving experience. I don't have much else to say about this vehicle. I pretty much covered it all in the overview you just saw. And those are my thoughts on the 2018 Jeep 
Wrangler Rubicon. By the way, if you like this video, press the like button. If you don't like this video, press the dislike button. If you really like this video, you can subscribe, duh. And you know what, Ross? I think I, I like this idea of doing this on the show. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. If ever you have any car questions, let's say you're trying to buy a car and you would like some advice. Well, if the question is awesome uh, or not redundant, we will post it on the next car video that I, I, I post before talking about the vehicle being driven. And that is it.